Hey Explorers! Today, I'll be showing you how to control an OLED display using an ESP32. It's a simple project, but super useful if you want to display data or graphics in your projects. Let's jump right in. First, here's what we'll need. An ESP32 module and a 128x64 OLED display. You'll also need some jumper wires and a breadboard, but that's totally optional. Let's quickly connect the OLED to the ESP32. The OLED has four pins, VCC, GND, SCL, and SDA. We'll connect VCC to the 3 volt pin on the ES32, GND to GND, SCL to GPIO22, and SDA to GPIO21. Here's the code we'll be using. It's simple. We're using the Adafruit libraries for the OLED display. If you haven't installed these libraries yet, head over to the Arduino IDE Library Manager and search for Adafruit GFX and Adafruit SSD 1306. Install both of those. In the setup, we initialize the display with a screen width of 128 and height of 64. Then we display the text Hello OLED on the screen. You can easily modify this to display other text, images, or even sensor data if you want. Now, let's upload the code to our ESP32 and see the OLED in action. And there you go. Our OLED is now displaying text from the ESP32. You can change this text or add some graphics if you want to get creative with it. So that's how you can control an OLED display using the ESP32. Super simple, but it opens up a lot of possibilities for your projects. If you found this helpful, drop a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more cool robotics and programming projects. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.